Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Instagram to WordPress in 2024. So we're covering a topic that adds a dynamic touch to your websites, which is how to connect Instagram to WordPress in 2024. By integrating your Instagram feed, you can showcase your visual content directly on your WordPress site. So stick around as I guide you through the step-by-step -step process of connecting your Instagram to your WordPress websites. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to simply go and log in into our WordPress dashboard. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section and type wordpress.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen, the main screen of WordPress. If it's your first time, you'll be taken to something like this. And of course, you'll find the top right corner option login options if you have an account to log into it. But if you don't, you'll have to click on get started instead to create an account or click here on the middle on get started below this WordPress your way. Of course, if you don't know nothing about WordPress, you can simply scroll down to read more information about it and familiarize yourself with it. You will it will take from you one minute or something like that. You'll be able to see the plans, the pricing, the features that comes with each plan. You can even post a video here and read, read this all by your own. And of course, once you're logged in into your account, you'll find yourself on a dashboard like this. So what we'll need to do to seamlessly connect Instagram to WordPress, you will need a plugin. So go to this left panel as an example, click on plugins or just have our plugins and click on add a new plugin. We will have to look for a plugin that will let us connect Instagram to our WordPress website. So go to search plugins and simply just type Instagram. As simple as that. So once you do so, you will find yourself with some plugins that may let you uh, like connect Instagram to your WordPress website. So as you can see, Smash Balloon Social uh, Photo Feed, Best Social uh, Feed plugin for WordPress. So formerly uh, Instagram Feed, Display Clean Customizable and Responsive Instagram Feed, and it has a good rating. A lot of people downloading it, a lot of people rate it. And yeah, it seems good. So let's just go and click on that. And of course, once you click, we'll be able to read the description of it see the installation process and see the frequently asked questions, the change log, what they changed in the recent patch and the screenshots of how it's going to look like on your website and the settings of it and etc. and the reviews of other people, you'll be able to see it all. So for me, as an example in this video, I'll use this uh, app or this plugin, Smash Balloon Social Photo Feed. So simply go and click on itself. Now, of course, for you, you can use another one. Maybe if you found a better one that you want to use, it's okay. Just go and install it and activate it. And once it's activated, of course, so let's just wait until it activates. It should not take a lot of time. We'll go through this uh, setup or this wizard that we'll have to go through. So let's set up your plugin as example. So ready to add the dash of Instagram to your website. Setting up uh, your first feed is quick and easy. We'll go you up, we'll get you up and running in no time. So you can learn more or launch this step setup wizard. So we'll have to start by connecting your Instagram account. Click on add new. And of course, you'll have to connect your Instagram account. Very, very easy. Now they are redirecting me. So what is the account type you are connecting to? It's a personal account and can click on connect with Instagram. And simply they will take me to Instagram. So allow Instagram to use cookies and similar technologies on other apps and websites. Click on allow. And of course, as you can see, smash balloon social personal would like to receive following information about, um, this is just the username of my uh, Instagram. So profile information, this is required, so I cannot turn it off. And media, like caption, media account, media type, media URL, permalink, uh, time uh, stamp, and thumbnail. If you want to get it, uh, it's just optional. If you don't, just turn it off. For me, I'll just let it on and click on Allah. Once I do so, of course, I will be taken back to a page. So let's just wait for them until they manage everything. So as you can see, security confirmation, you're about to provide local host WordPress access to your Instagram information. Yes, I'll just click on yes. And yeah, here we are. Once we do so, I added that. Of course, I can add even more than one or I can delete some. So for me, I'll just let this one and click on next. Here, you can configure the features that can come with that. Do you want to have and the Instagram users feed, uh, downtime prevention, or image optimization, social feed collection, customer review plugin. And we have here the pro features. If you have the pro plan of this plugin, you'll be able to get it. So 
some of them, as you can see, you'll not be able to turn them off. Why? Because they are required. Of course, if you want to quit this setup, always you can go, go to the top right corner here and click on exit setup. So for me, I'll just go here and click on next. And as you can see, uh, you might also be interested in, as you can see, they are suggesting some plugins. If you want them, let's it on. If you don't, just turn them off and then click on install selected plugin because it doesn't select anything. They will not install anything. And as you can see, you can upgrade to Instagram feed pro. If you want to get upgrade, if you don't just click on complete setup without upgrading. If you click on upgrade as example, they will open a new tab and they will show you the pricing for their plans. You can go and get that if you want to. For me, I don't want to. So I'll just go here and click on complete setup without upgrading. Of course, if you have a license key, you can simply go and enter it in here. Maybe if you already paid for it, if you someone like gifted to or something like that so for me i'll just click in here and of course i'll have to wait for the page until it loads it should not take a lot of time and basically after that we'll have to go and add it to our web wordpress site so as you can see as you can see create your feed customize your feed and embed your feed so click on add a new and for me i'll just go with the maybe like yeah user uh, tag the timeline why not click on next and you can add the source of course for that of course this one add click on next and as you can see they are loading everything for me so basically you don't have to do anything they basically going to do everything for you so as you can see you'll find the pictures that you have in your instagram and of course you can customize it change the settings even of it so customize the feed layout as you can see you want to have this grid carousel um, uh, and other option but this will require premium if you want to uh, the color scheme You'll be able to have it as dark, light, custom, whatever you want for me. I'll just leave it dark as an example. And here you'll be able to edit the header, uh, the post, load the more button, uh, follow button as example. And as an example, so click here as an example. So I'll just change the follow button, what uh, it's going to say. So I click here for uh, fast follow as an example i'll just let this as it is and click on back and as you can see now uh, once we are done just go of course you can see how it look on desktop tablets and even phone as you can see so once you finish with all the customization then just go and click on save and simply click on embed of course add the unique shortcut to any page post or widget just go and click on copy that once you click on copy go to all every page so go to pages click on all all pages just look at the page that you want to add the instagram feed on as example cart why not and in this block just go to this top left corner click on plus here of course we'll have to choose code and just drag the code in here and simply paste the code right here and see updates and of course you will see your instagram feed without any problems so of course wait i did not like copy the code that was a mistake that i made it's fine i'll just do it like fast copy go back pages all pages and simply oh what's to whatever page why not and simply here of course click plus code in here go with this sorry i did not drag it out write the code just enter that out in here and you will be good to go so the short code will in, uh, will have this of course now if we click on updates and if we go and see our website we will see the feed of our instagram right there without any problems as an example if you want to preview it just go here and click on this as an example because this will preview it on a new tab so view page and as you can see you will see the feed right here as an example so now you customize this and add it to your uh, wordpress site and yeah there you have it you can always keep your uh, feed updated go back there and update every everything you want and yeah so congratulations you've connected instagram to wordpress in 2024 if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below subscribe to our channel for more hate 40 stories like this one of course if you have any topic uh, that you would like me to cover in the next tutorial just drop it down below in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next video